So what we're going to be taking a look at now is checking a player into the barriers or against barriers and holding them there long enough to get the puck away from them. So what we want to do in this scenario is remember this, this is the same rudimentary points for checking. You want to have a low base. The force that you're going to be pushing with is coming from this leg, your outside leg. Not this leg over here as you see a lot of young players do. That throws you off balance. You want to have enough strength and you're not using the maximum amount of force that you can. So quick and We're going to be keeping up on the low base. Recording here at Alexander Palace High School in London, and today we're going to be taking a look at some tips or tutorials on how to pin somebody against the barriers, take the puck away from them, and continue playing. Now, one of the main reasons that we're showing you this tutorial off of the ice is to show you that you can practice this if you're in shoes, rollerblades, or just casually in the house. Some of the leagues are warm, you can practice these skills and then carry them or transfer them on the ice with you. So, the standard or traditional checking skills do still apply. In terms of your body, you want to have a nice low base, a nice low hockey stance, keeping you the low centre of gravity, allowing you to stay in control. From there, you want to remember to have your feet just over the shoulder width apart, again helping you keep balance and control. And the pushing leg, in this example, is efficient against this wall over here, in that direction, is going to be this leg here. You don't want to be pushing off of that leg, because that's not going to be allowing you to use your maximum force, and that will also throw you off balance. So we'll just take a look at some examples of how to do this. So take a look from here, he's going to be skating along the close to the wall and the barriers of the puck. I'm going to come in from the side, I'm going to push into him, as you can see, as we said earlier on, I'm going to be using this leg to push. This leg is going to be used for something else, I'll show you what that is in a second. But just to give you an example, you can see that I can lift this leg off the ice, as all of the force is coming from this leg here. And what you're trying to do in this scenario is, first of all, check into them. Once you've got them against the wall for a second, you want to then attempt to roll them over, and you can see that my left leg over here, which is my inside leg in this case, is then sliding between his legs over here. And what you want to do with this is then have it so these two legs can't separate. So for example, I'm now checked into him. I've put my two leg, my leg in between his. If he tries to go left or he tries to go right, if you want to try that, you can see that it's very difficult for him to move. And I'm also going to use my upper body to apply force onto him. So he can't go left, he can't go right. I've rolled him over, he's stuck against the barriers there. And I'm using this foot over here, as you can see, I'm going to use the inside edge, as you can see, the example over there. This foot, all the weight's not on that leg, it's all here. This is just here to interrupt his movement, so you can't go left or right. And from here, you then have a chance to then pick the puck away from him. And from here, you can grab the puck and make a right away. So the key points we're going to be looking at while we're doing this is, as we said, we're going to be keeping a low base. Once you check into the player, the back foot or outside leg, the one closest to the center ice, is going to be doing all the work. That's going to be giving you all of your force. You're going to be on your inside edge of that skate, pushing as hard as you can into the ice to give you the force to push into him and hold him against that barrier. So one more time, and this leg over here is I'm going to be, as I slam him into the barriers and roll him over, I'm going to be using this leg, stick it between his leg over here, stop him from getting left and right. So you can see my left leg is between his right and left leg. So he can't move left or right. I'm going to be applying force with my body up here. As you can see, I'm on my inside edge, using my entire body into him. And the most important part of checking, if you want to be able to keep control, you want to have as much of you in contact with the player as possible. So I'm not standing there like that. I'm not checking him like that. My stick's nice and low. I'm using my shoulder. I'm using my arm, some of my chest, to push into him and make sure that he's nice and pinned there. I'm using a lot of force over here. And from here, you've got all of that space. You can use one hand if you need to, to hug the puck free, and then carry on with the play. So as you can see over here, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the key or fundamental factors of the um, pin check or boarding someone, in some cases it might be referred to as. You want to have a nice low base, your feet just want to be over the shoulder with the park, give you a bit more control and support on the ice, as you want to be in control of your body the entire time you're doing this. We're going to be checking him. Remember, you're going to be using this leg over here to push, which is going to be the leg facing the outside of the, facing towards the centre of the ice, I'm sorry. And your inside leg, closest to the barriers, is going to be used to separate these two legs, pinning him against this, so you can't go left or right. And remember, this leg over here is facing the ice rink. You want to use this leg to push. You're going to be using the inside edge to dig into the ice and use that to generate all your force and power to hold him against that board. So remember, you want to use your hands in whichever way. If you need to use one hand on the stick to poke the puck free, feel free to do that, as your other hand might be um, using your shoulder and your hand to pin him against the board. So we'll show you a quick run through of that, how it looks. So you're going to be checking into him, pushing. As you can see, my legs gone between his to separate his two feet. He's now stuck there. I've rolled him over. 
Again, key points, you want to have a nice low base, wide feet to give you a nice and good low centre of gravity, nice control on the arse. Hold it against there with your body, using your inside edge to push with the leg that's facing the outside of the ring. So taking a look at the main facts of this pin check or boarding a player against the wall, you want to be able to explode into them using the foot that's facing the centre of the ice. You're going to be using the inside edge of this leg to explode into the player using force to hold them or pin them against the boards. At this point you want to attempt to roll them onto their chest so their chest is facing the boards that you've checked them against and you want to use your other foot which should be closest to the player that you've checked and put it in between their legs to prevent them from moving around. Remember the player's not going to let you do this, so you're going to need to use that foot that's carrying all of your weight that's closest to the centre of the ice to explode into them and hold them against those boards. You also want to use your free hand to poke the puck free and make a breakaway. The points you want to keep in mind are to keep a nice low base, remember to pin, roll, get the puck out of the player's possession and make a breakaway. As you know with checking, the only reason you want to check a player is to separate them from the puck. You don't want to do it to intentionally hurt anyone. These are just tips and little drills to give you a bit more confidence on the ice, to know what to do in different situations, and hopefully make you a better player. So for more tips and tutorials, be sure to visit hockeytutorial.com. It's Chris and Amy. Till next time, guys.